you spread it around so that they'll you know, take their pick and then later they'll come back and they'll dig through all this. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this chicken compost has been five months in the making and now it's ready. In this video, we're gonna dig all this rich compost fertilizer out of here and put it into the garden and then we're gonna use it to plant garlic. Let's get into it. So for those of you who don't know, the ingredients in this rich compost slash fertilizer weren't very many at all. It was just kitchen scraps minus any bones, manure and mulch from the chicken and duck pen. And also I utilized a little bit of soil and eucalyptus leaves or litter from around the immediate area here. So before I start digging this out and delivering it up to the veggie garden, I've got a couple of garden beds up there we should take a look at. The two beds that I wanna plant this garlic in are the two silver raised round garden beds in the middle of our veggie garden here. Both of them have okay soil. If you look at this, it doesn't look too bad at all. However, if you dig through the bed, it's actually just a bit too light. This has had a little bit of rain overnight, so it looks better than it actually is. But you can see how it just sort of runs through. If I dig down a little bit deeper, it becomes apparent that it really could do with just a little bit of extra fill. And this bed over here, well, I reckon it's worse. I've had a good dig through this before I set up this video. There's not a lot of difference, but it is lighter. This soil would benefit well from that compost fertilizer, not only to add structure, but also those micronutrients that compost can give from all those things that break down in it, all those different elements that have gone into making that wonderful rich mix. It's gonna turn this okay soil into fantastic soil to plant garlic in. Oh yeah, wow, how good is this? Okay, that's one barrow load. We'll take that up and put it in the garden bed. We'll do this bed here first. So I'll get rid of this. And basically just throw it all in. I'll gauge how much I need once I start putting it in. It probably will take this whole barrow load, but we'll just see. A little goes quite a long way, especially once you dig it in. All right, I think that's enough. That's pretty much, that's about six inches deep. You can see all sorts of things through here, old pumpkin, a mango seed, but yeah, that's good. So now I just got to dig it in and mix it in well with the existing soil. Take your time with this. Rightio, I think that's mixed in well enough and it's not a bad height. On top of this, I'm gonna mulch it. So it's gonna get a bit higher as well. It's an old bit of ginger, bit of ginger skin. Oh yeah, oh, I can still smell it. Dig that in. Some of that compost that hasn't broken down fully, don't worry about it, even these small sticks, don't worry about it. That'll all break down in the bed. Rightio, that's pretty much it done. Four barrel loads full of compost fertilizer made by chickens. I didn't put it all in those two garlic beds. I also used some to put 
in a mint bed. I covered it up or topped it up so that that mint can get another good start for this coming growing season. And I also topped up a raspberry bed that was sunken and in desperate need for some extra fill. And I just put that on top. I didn't dig it in. It was just a top dressing like you would normal compost. Anyway, let's start again. I've got the latest kitchen scraps here. Full of all sorts of things. Old veggies. There we go, we'll give that a wash out later. And we'll let the girls have a pick at it. Now to the planting of the garlic. But before I do that, I wanna mulch this bed first. I'm just using a sugarcane mulch in this case. And I wanna mulch it first because I'm gonna put gaps in this mulch to plant the garlic because I don't want the garlic growing through or trying to grow through the mulch. Growing through wet mulch might be difficult for the garlic stems and it also might create extra moisture that could facilitate disease and I don't want that. I've, it's hard enough to grow garlic in the subtropics as it is, let alone putting obstacles in its way. But I do want to mulch it because this will keep the moisture in and it'll keep the weeds down and weeds compete with garlic. Garlic have a shallow root system, they're not very bushy so garlic doesn't tend to shade out weeds so weeds can take over a bit easily and if you have a nice thick mulch around on those bare patches where the garlic isn't growing well then you can stop a lot of those weeds coming through. Just a few inches deep, that's all that's needed. We're gonna make some gaps in here anyway. And so that'll thicken it up in areas, especially around the sides. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some rings here. About, I don't want them, the garlic growing right next to the edge of the bed here. I want some soil between the edge of the material here and where the garlic's gonna grow. So we'll push back from about six inches out and we'll create a ring. I'll take some of this mulch and I'll put it onto the other bed because I don't need it. Take the middle out so that I can plant several bulbs in the middle here. Just the two rings, one small one in the middle and one around the outside here. I get my garlic, we'll break it up. Break it up into the cloves individual clothes, that's the bottom end and that's the top. The pointy end is where it grows from. The bottom end obviously goes into the ground like that. So let's start even just right here and you just push that in and cover it over. The little tip can be just hanging out, that's cool, or it can be slightly under, doesn't matter. That should work, but not too deep. And it's just a matter of that pushing in and then going about a thumb and forefinger or six inches apart. Now that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna plant them too far apart, about six inches apart and another one. And I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna space them out before I push them under. And now I just go around, now that I know the spacing, push them in. Well, there's one I missed. Whack that in somewhere as insurance. And speaking of insurance, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna plant some garlic in some trays as insurance. So if some of these don't come up, hopefully I'll be able to transplant them into some of these gaps and fill those gaps where the garlic might have rotted in the bed or didn't come up or got taken by a bird or whatever. I'm gonna do exactly the same to this other bed here. 
And now it's just a matter of giving these beds a good water in because you want to wet the mulch down and you want also the garlic bulbs or cloves just to settle in with the soil around it. And giving it a good water in helps that. It might not necessarily trigger any growth, but it can more than anything. This just settles it down, especially in this windy weather. I don't want my mulch and everything blowing everywhere. This will just combine it nicely. Now, if you're wondering what type of garlic this is, it's a Glen Large. And the reason why I planted this is because it's known for its good growing in a subtropical or warmer climates. And it also produces a very nice tasting garlic and a big bulb. And it also copes well with the shorter day length here when we're growing it through our winter time into summer. All right, well that's both beds watered in and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big mark. I hope your garlic grows like a champion in that chicken compost fertilizer mix. Thumbs up. And share the video around because that helps my channel heaps. Subscribe if you haven't already, remember that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.